Okay, and this is the Traits of a 2000 player. So, in essence, the 2000s. As with the 1900s, they understand the basics and they use the basics well. And then the where did, they, where did that come from factor kicks in, where it looks like it's a specialist development of those basics. Usually it isn't. It's usually a good understanding of the position and then taking advantage of that. Um, not wanting to mention tactics because I'm not a tactics player, I'm a positional player. So um, using it based on the terms of position, once their basics have been utilised and they understand that they've got a nice basic position, attack, etc. Then they really do understand the position a lot more than the 1900. And it's probably a few moves before the 1900 realizes that they had a special maneuver that they could have put in place. So they kind of beat the 1900 to the punch in terms of understanding the basics. So it's almost like um, being the fastest puncher in the world. So you, you think you're the fastest puncher. So bam, bam, bang, you're working away. And then someone comes along and goes, well, yeah, you might be fast, but you can't actually hit anything. And I'm going to show you why. And then the opponent is actually telegraphing every move that they're making. But the punch is really fast. It's just that they're telegraphing everything. So it doesn't hit the person because they're telegraphing. But it's fast. As a standalone tool, it's fast. Same point in here where we're talking about the 1900 and their basics. Their basics will take them to a, a good level a good point um ordinarily in general um against most players you know 1700 1800 that will be the difference because they basically understand the basics then they take advantage of that position player to and um, then follow on an appropriate attack they won't what's the word now release that tension of their potential attack the potential va potential value for their move has potential value for more good moves that small difference is the difference between the 1800s and the 1700s same thing for the 2000s is that the quality of the 1900 usually with their attacks and their position plays really good but then the 2000 says well okay yeah you're fast but you know you're good but your position is okay but I'm going to beat you to the punch to get a better position. So the potential value for my move is five times better than yours. Simple as that. But also, if you're looking at the 2000s, you definitely practice, for me, practice against computer, high level computer, get familiar with the understanding of how a computer works and from that point on you can then get a good understanding as to what you can expect from a 2000 type level play oh he's got a berserker oh this guy's not playing <laughs> so the berserker is like a few points ahead of our 2000 pluser and I'm conscious that we haven't focused on any of these games at this moment in time. But there was a lot of stuff to talk about for the traits and the behavior types and the psychology behind it all. Other than that, yeah, um, good basics for the 2000s. 2000s, not good basics, sorry. I would say going on to very good basic understanding of chess um, and the basic movements. But they... The problem they do really kind of have in general terms from my own experiences, they can get a little bit too arty. Yep. So the 1900, I will go, yep. Good, basic, solid understanding of the basics, you know. Um, and that's it, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. And they can come out with the where did that come from factor. Excuse me. So that's good. 2000s very good understanding of basics so you could have a 2000 who can just play basics all the way through a match and just absolutely wipe the floor with you but you don't even realize 
your the floor's been wiped with you because you feel like you're in the game and you're still there right away to the end but somehow they've got an extra pawn or whatever it is and then they've won and then you've got the other ones that'll just blow you out of the water right from the start so they can suffer from over artiness so if you kind of take advantage of that over artiness there is like the 1400s yeah <laughs> there's and the 1800s and um, there's holes in their armor in the back if you can weather the storm but they don't over egg they're good basic players so i think if you can just keep your basics straight nice and simple you can actually shock the um 2000 pluses that's really it you know it's nothing fancy or anything like that it's just understanding the basics as best possible not over egging anything so now look at this one here i mean this is the berserker the berserker's now got his queen and a bishop against a, a knight and a rook and our guy wasn't too bad really and it's just absolutely you can see the massive difference in this already Yeah, so obviously this pawn is coming down it's going to get promoted and the thing is it's like i say it's so obvious, so obvious moves but there's nothing that you can do about it nothing at all he's got 18 seconds left he's trying to get his king across but the, it's getting promoted no matter what because the rook's just going to get taken off the board and then it's all over how awful is that but that's the general feel of when you're playing a 2000 day. It's like, oh, damn. Yeah, he's got two queens. They've got two queens against our really good 2000. Unbelievable. Okay, so on to the next one. Right. So we'll work through this one with our, with our player. And then that'll be the traits for the 2000 done. So what we're looking at is good basics. And then the where did that come from factor and then that should be the whole all unless of course they get too arty in this game it's playing a 1950 uh, here so the 19 like i said has got good basics and they do have that what where did that come from factor let's move this queen back again da, da, da. Good solid basics. The two thousands just nice and easy. Attacking both, yeah, that's nice. Nope, takes takes. It's ha happy coming here, but then maybe not now. It's not even he's got his go, yeah. Okay. All right, solid basics. Solid basics can bring the bishop here. Needs to be castling. Going, ooh, it's, oh, nice one. But it's a single attack, you see, on a pawn. I'm not too comfortable with that, really. But uh, is it coming back here? At this level of the game, I'm, I'm not comfortable with seeing that. <laughs> it's a 2000 plus a, doing a simple thing like that. When his king should be castling. Yeah, he's moved his king out of the way, so that's not happening. So this bishop needs to be doing something. Oh, he's still coming for the Queen Exchange. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Get castled. Come on. Castle, castle, castled. Don't let me down now. Come on. Get your basics sorted. Thank you. Right. It feels like he's tight, gonna get tied up in the center here. Needs to get maybe this, but then this is gonna drop at some stage. <sighs> Thank you. There we go. And then maybe attack this bishop. Might as well get the bishop off the back. It's probably not gonna go that way, but it probably could do because uh, he's going there after. 
he didn't want to actually split his rook up, but I would have been comfortable doing that. He's not even doing that. Damn, should be going for it. Oh, is he coming for the pawn attacking? No, the bishop's gone, now it's feeling the heat. So he's had to retreat, so nice solid basics. Now he's just attacking up, attacking up, trying to go across here. He needs to get this bishop off the back. Is he going for a fianchetto looking thing? He's got the knight protecting there, there, and there. Mm. He's taken one off, so maybe the bishop comes here now. I'm not sure. Oh, he's got a 2 1 here. So he takes, takes. It's a massive take fest now. Down there. All basic stuff, but look at that, man. X ray through, now he's lost the rook. Too much. Too much. A little bit too arty, you fell into the um, 1900s um, little safe basic maneuvers and exchanges. Doesn't mean he's won the game because he's up the exchange, but can always see this pawn pushing here but after that it's not too yeah so the moment the moment of over flair over stylizing the game I'm not sure <sighs> has caused them to be down the exchange so they could have taken a little bit of time paced it out a bit and really got a better position really i think he's probably looking to well maybe this one might as well take my this is coming down then he's going to get this pawn so he has to be careful doesn't it yeah That does make better sense. So this king's probably going to want to come to this side, is he, at some point, to get this rook across here, try and work his way around the back. Saving the pawn. It's a bit on the back foot with that type of move, though. It's, uh, swinging over here. Need to move that rook, yeah. Could drop here. Attacking this. Oh, baby, there we go. That's what we're talking about. This rook can't come and defend, so it's going to be like a bit of a exchange fest going off. Takes, takes. So the difference now is position on the board amount of pieces i know he's got the rook but the rook is not working at the minute has to go back <clears throat> yep to get into the game okay so now he's not <clears throat> pushing forward sit back here get this up and look i think the rook's going to struggle with these linked pawns now wow <clears throat> the smallest of cleverness there did you see that wow yeah, the rook and the king are going to struggle with these pawns. I, I, I'm sure they are. He's trying to block it off now. We can just start swinging this one up. Start pushing this, start pushing this, link, linking this up here. It's going to run out of time. It's the 1900s. I think this is probably a very good example of the difference between the 1900s. Oh, dear. Although they're not linked now, the pawns, so really, yeah, yeah, oh, I don't, I think it's going to be okay, no, he's not, oh, he's lost everything, he's lost them all, oh, maybe not. Probably don't chase it, because it's going anywhere, yeah. Uh, oh, that was a missed opportunity, wasn't it? He did, I don't think he needed to do that. We could take there. 
Oh, he's lost all. Yeah, I was just saying this is a good example of a difference between the 2000 and the 1900. <laughs> and the 1900s clawed it all back. Damn. Okay. The rook should really win out, shouldn't it? Oh, time wise, the 1900 ran out of time. Okay, yeah, but yeah, as we've seen, just a simple demonstration. That was going to be the last one. Uh, that was a simple demonstration, simple basic moves understanding of the basic movements of um, chess and what the pieces can actually do there was nothing really advanced in those maneuvers that they made um it was pretty straightforward and clear again okay i'll follow this one and then this is this will be the last one and this is against the 2000 as well okay so all basic stuff captures so it's blocking the knight from getting into here with that pawn whose go is it White blacks go. Could do a small touch here. Could develop the bishop. This pawn's coming down. Could he preempt and just move? Yeah, so he's uh, blocked that pawn off. But it's not blocked because he can still take. Now he's moved the king. For what reason? Don't know. You know, it's like a. Eee. Keeping the tension thing. It's a bit too arty. So, tempo wise, I'm saying. You're probably going to lose because of that king move. Because it was not doing anything for you. But we'll see. So he's attacking. He's attacking this pawn. But the bishop's protecting. So I've got to be careful. So he can come here. He's got support. But then the knight's got two on two. And so he's now he's exploding all over him. He's facing his king. But does he have any pieces that can really do damage? White. Could go for the exchange. What's the situation with material? Yeah, it's even at the minute. Does go there, yeah, pretty straightforward. Rook takes, no, he's not interested. Could attack him again. Oh, he's got a move, making the move. Oh, and he does. Simple stuff. It's also attacking here, but we don't have anything there. Just simply take it off the board. Thank you, there we go. And could put, <laughs> I feel like I'm playing. And obviously he's coming for this, but that goes here, yeah. Okay, so he's uh, coming. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. What's the knight got? Oh, knight's got this pawn with a check, but he's obviously seen that. Um, we could be attacking the pawn here. Don't focus so much on this area, but he is. Takes, rook takes. Knight can bounce up. interesting times these are too close together there must be something that can be done get this knight across here attacking don't know why that rook's come there he's got a two on one hasn't he that's what he's doing but if the knight comes here he has to move his rook Ooh, i'm not sure about that i'm not sure about that i don't know what that was that didn't make any sense to me is he trying to trap it or something? I, there's nothing happening. That's why he's taking so long over the move now. There's nothing. Yeah, he's attacking the rook. Is it? Oh, it's trapped. It's trapped. Ah, you see. The where did that come from? But still, he's taking damage. He's taking damage. I did feel it wasn't a good position. <laughs> <laughs> something didn't feel right <laughs> yeah okay so he's taking damage what you got now okay so this these are the situation where you go well i don't know how they're getting out of this why it's plus one at the moment But it's not like he's got a chokehold on him. It's just that it looks a little bit strange, does the position. doesn't look like um, black can do much with this. Apart from maybe pushing this pawn. But then this knight is just taking this pawn here. So he's taking, taking him to the cleaners. It's 
do have to bring his rook here to defend. The rook to defend or the knight down. But the knight's holding this a little bit at the minute. He attacks the knight anyway. Grabs another piece, attacking the bishop. Bishop saying, I don't want to be taken or I do want to be taken. Yeah, there we go. This does not look good for black, I'm afraid. I'm, you know, if I was a betting man, I'd be saying, mm, not today, dude, not today. You're on a loser. So he's looking around the back. So he's down a minor piece now. Yeah, that's too fast. He's probably going to resign now. Nothing to be done here. Yeah, they've gone. Excellent. 